Hi, I'm Rebecca Ryan. I'm a shamanic witch here in Melbourne, Victoria. I'm going to talk to you about what a wand is for and also how to choose one that's right for you. So a wand will uh, help to draw, focus and point your energy. Some people use wands in their manifesting. So a wand can be used to cut a doorway through from where you are now to where you would like to be in the future. A wand can be used as like a laser focus so that you're able to take your energy, condense it through the shaft of a wand and then uh, use it as a point of manifesting or a point of making something happen. I had a dream that my wand became uh, like a like an electrical cord that was running out of me. So it was it was plugged into my kind of central functioning system and came out almost like another arm and another hand, particularly charged with magical energy. I recommend using wands for anything that you need to manifest. So you might want to increase your health or your vitality or the speed at which you manifest things. You might want um, money, breakfast, car, uh, love, whatever it is that you want. If you are able to sit with your wand and um, concoct a clear picture and a clear essence, so that's the clear vibration, you can transfer it down the body of the wand and have it delivered into your physical realm more quickly. So it's like a wand is a doorway. Knowing that, how you choose a wand is a very personal thing. So you might have a connection to energy like this. So you might have a connection to energy which is crystal. You might have a connection to an elemental energy. So this is wood and color and obviously feathers. The, the old way of making wands was, I'm told, to take a piece of our hair. So one piece of your hair which is hollow down the center. The wand then would be constructed over uh, moon phases, so over many months, around that shaft of hair so that that central shaft was empty and could be filled with your intentions and potentially filled with a spirit who was working with you and helping you manifest. So that might be a familiar guardian, a guide. So to choose a wand, you would look for um, what calls you or something that you already have a connection with. So this might be a stick that you went on a pilgrimage with. Uh, it might be a particular animal. So um, the feathers might come from an animal that you feel particularly close to. Crow, raven, owl, whatever you like. However you choose your wand, you will want to imagine it having uh, an empty shaft or imagine that it can take your energy and transfer it down the body of it. So I'd recommend having something that either has grains or has a crystal um, made in such a way that you feel like your energy can easily transit down the body of it. If you want to make your own wand, wand, I highly recommend wrapping at least one piece of your hair either through it or down it or whatever so that it holds a very strong resonance with your energy. Thank you. Enjoy.